All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Has, in order to get to where he wants to be before, there might have been distractions. Now, Ray Masvidal is solely focused on becoming a UFC champion. Left his family to go compete in a reality show outside of the United States. Gave him a, yeah, <laughs> gave him a lot of focus and direction, and he has put all of that to good use here in the UFC. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the world. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the Assassin. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. All right, so without further delay, here we go. Round one is underway. This the UFC Welterweight Championship, and there is the champion out of the red corner working his way to the center of the octagon. He has defended this belt in the past and believes if he can do so again tonight, and here and still, he could go down as one of the greatest 100s in the sport. Great job defensively. He's seen everything coming. Couple of chins here being tested early. Nice punch from that. Nice one, two there. Well, he's connecting on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. Keep big elbow. All right, fighting out of the clinch here, and not for long. Nice trip to get the... Careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom, and if you're... Continue to gain posture out big strike your point. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, yeah. Well, that's how you draw. Around the octagon, know that the ref has to. He has to. It is his job to save you. You don't want to be on the receiving end of too many of this guy's hook punches. Your boy George Allen might have stepped in that's and stopped my that guy. fight. You know, all swagged out. Too. George <laughs> Allen all swagged out, stopping fights. Good series. Underway, DC, we talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with new takedown technique. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. 
Nice punch by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Masvidal's elbow attempt here. That one blocked by the defense. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head of the clinch. Take it down, cover. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. Fight! Maybe stop right now. Oh, he's he's over there. The finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Wow! Goes down again! Back to the feet! So aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Diaz is 12 years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of New York, Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC Walter White Champion of the World, the Assassin. You ready? You ready? All right, so without further delay. Good to have you with us tonight as we get round. Oh. He loaded up there on that high kick. And a knee. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Kick. Nice. Have to not go to the clinch. Find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has to be the cure. Good stick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, so he lands in nothing. He landed it perfectly. Where he deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Final seconds here. Big Paul punch land. Now we get back to rain. No, I'm not make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? Fight. All right. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks, and I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to a hero? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force in his opponent. Wow. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his attack. Diaz gets caught with that punch. All right, he is really starting to pick up where he left off in round one, getting that hook of his going here in round two. And as much as you want to credit the offensive fighter, Defensive fighter hasn't made anything in terms of a significant adjustment. Well, he's trying to defend himself in the... No! And just like that, the fight is over! He got it! <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight.
All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glow. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so without further delay, here we go. Round one is underway. There and still, he could go down as one of the greatest 170-pound fighters in UFC history. In order to do just that, he has said, I've got to get off to a good start here tonight. We'll see if he attacks offensively here early. Thanks to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, and there is another none there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, big punch land. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, nice. And they separate. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters you have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. 20 seconds left. This fight, folks, you see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Next round. All right, round two. Look at this angle of that nice body. RDA gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Over and over again, what I am a massive fan of is his cardio. The ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits his takedown attempt. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. So Sancho's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And will land the single ground strike there. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. And this might just be a matter of time. Submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. He got him! What a performance! Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke. And still, the undisputed UFC Walter Wright champion of the world, the assassin. All right, so there he is. He came in the hunted. He remains as such. Congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion, and you see it in the effort that he puts in retaining his title. One of the best welterweight champions in UFC history.